got your finger stuck in there. Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel. I'm Corey, this is Offbeat Motors, and today we're going to be doing a little science experiment. So a lot of people call these uh, like faker hood type things, whatever, but they don't think that's real. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out definitely. As you can see with that shaker, the air's kind of coming here, and they do have the tube that goes down to the box, which comes out right here and feeds the filter. So what we're going to do is a science experiment. Is we're going to tape this off and uh, we're going to drive around and see what we get for intake air temperatures. Um, also, because I do have the Hellcat intake tube, we're going to tape that off too so that is taken out of the equation. Um, Hi, I'm Daddy's I, kid. And uh, this is going to be a couple parts. We're going to drive around with it all taped up, check the temperatures, see what we got. Then I will take it off of there, check the temperatures, see what we got. And then we'll take this one off and check the temperatures. We'll drive a couple miles around each time and see what we got from there. So I'm going to get this taped up. My little helper is going to help me tape it. My name's Mia, <laughs> and I'm my daddy's daughter. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get going on that, and then we'll be right back with you when we're driving around. So we're getting back to okay, so we got the shaker all covered up. So there's no air going in there. I just put a couple layers of tape on here to seal the seams and stuff, so hopefully it doesn't fly off. And we got this headlight covered up and the tape too. Yep, yeah, she went ahead and did that. Yes. We got a little bit of airflow up here because I don't want to totally choke it out, but that shouldn't really have any bearing on what's going on, so that's sealed up pretty good. So now we're going to go take a drive and we'll start doing the uh, experiments, see what we come up with. All right. We're going to open up the performance pages. Yeah, I know the screen is dirty. It's getting there. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay. So, intake air temperature. Just sitting here. 120 degrees. As you can see, it's 70 degrees outside. And we're going to drive around for a couple miles see what we get with everything taped up um, now you may be alarmed that the air uh, engines not getting any air it is the top of the box there's a notched open uh, piece there that uh, still allows air to come in so it's still getting air um, so there's no worries with that um, so it doesn't completely seal with the hood so there is still some air getting in there just not nearly as much as what it's used to so it'll be interesting to see if I can feel a difference which I'm pretty sure I will but you all buckled up back there? Yeah. All right, you ready to hit the road? Yeah. See what we got? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. All right, be back with you in a couple minutes. Well, for you guys, it'll be like, now. Okay, so I've been driving around for a couple minutes, gone about a mile, and it's 72 degrees out. You know, I told you it was 70, but that was that. So, but it's actually 72. I was an idiot, looked at the wrong thing. But anyways, down to 89 degrees. We're running at just right around 40 miles an hour. Um, so 87 degrees, 45 miles an hour. Now it's gone up. So the engine is completely warmed up. So it is still getting heat off of the uh, radiator and whatnot, and it is just taking air in from the engine compartment. So that seems to pretty much be what we're staying at is right around 87 to 89 degrees with everything taped up. So what we're going to do is the kiddo and I are going to pull over and we're going to pull the tape off of the shaker and we're going to see what we get temperature wise after a couple minutes of driving that way. So, all right, I'll be right back with you once again. Okay, so now I'm going to take the tape off the scoop and going to leave the tape on there. Good thing doubled that up. So, and we'll see what we get. So, we'll be, I'll be back with you momentarily once I get this taken off. And on a side note, I hate that thing. I want to get rid of this tube and just do a complete tube right there. Over there, then I can put a catch can there. Can't do it with this piece of garbage in the way. Be right back. All right, so there it is. Kid is in the car, waving. 
That's still taped up. Let's go out on the road and see what we got now. Ow. All right, so 111. Now it's 70 degrees. Something's going on out there. Now that we got the shaker uncovered and the Ow. headlight is still covered, we're going to see what this goes down to now. So okay. drive around for a couple minutes, then we'll be back. All right, so we're back, and as you can see, we're at 84 degrees, and I'm still doing right around the 40 mile an hour, and that's pretty much seems to be where it stabilizes. So it equates to just a couple of degrees difference. Now, normally you think the more fresh air that you get from outside the engine compartment, you would probably have uh, lower intake air temperature sensors. Well, obviously that's not 100% true because right there we're getting more air but it's only a couple degrees so it, it is to an extent but we're also at 70 degrees so the outside temperature dropped so that's probably what's equating to the fact that that dropped also so um, it'll be interesting to see uh, when I undo the headlight with the Hellcat if that does it any um, it brings that down any further I'll be impressed if it does I know when I first put it in I was seeing lower temperatures but that may have been because the ambient temperatures outside were colder too at that time. Um, so we're going to pull over up here and we're going to pull the tape off the headlight and see what we get temperature wise. So I'm going to say inconclusively, because I don't want to say 100%, but yeah, you probably get more airflow from the shaker, but it's not necessarily going to lower your intake air temps. So just, just think about that uh, when you see these or if you're thinking about buying one. Um, and we're gonna take a look at, see what we get with the Hellcat next once we pull over and go from there. You know, uh, be right back, guys. Oh, well, and the outside temp did go up a degree. So you always have a plus or minus factor. I just saw 82 for a second there. Now I don't wanna let you guys go. <laughs> It's me just hoping, you know? <laughs> there it is, see, 82. It is 84. So that's our stabilized temperature zone right now. 82, 84, because that's what we're fluctuating at. And um, we are still on the same road as we did were when everything was taped up. We're just going back and forth. Um, and we haven't really slowed down at all. In fact, that's probably why it went down. I did speed up like five extra miles an hour, so. All right, be right back, guys. All right, Mia, what are we doing now? I'm gonna put, pull this off this headlight. All right, go ahead, pull it off. You gotta take all that tape off, okay? Okay, so now this test is gonna be with the shaker hood uncovered, well, untaped. And now she is untaping the headlight, which does have the tube, which goes straight into the cold air intake box. So. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see what we got. You ready? Yes. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're back at the same spot like um, when I uncovered the shaker and Mia just uncovered the headlight. So now this test is going to be with the headlight uncovered and the shaker scoop uncovered. Um, still running at 71 degrees and temperature is 120 intake air temp right now. So let's see what, uh, what we get and we're going to do this loop one more time. Let's go. Be back with you very shortly. Well, for you again, once again. Now. All right, so here we are back again on the same loop. We're headed back to the same spot we have been. And temperature outside is 70 degrees. And intake air temp is 82. And this is with the hood, um, shaker hood. Um, uncovered and the Hellcat intake tube uncovered so um, still doing right around same miles per hour and it's having absolutely no effect at this point so we did get a drop when we uncovered the uh, shaker scoop but there is no drop with the intake tube now obviously if I'm going a lot faster you may see a different result but I'm doing this because I'm on city streets and it's pretty much uh, controlled at the same speed every time. Temperature's been right at seven, right around 70 degrees, and it's the same stretch of road. 
Um, and that's what we're getting for results. So um, I'm wondering if a different air filter might make a difference because I'm thinking that uh, it's maybe that's a little restrictive and it's not letting the air in and that's what's causing it, but I'm not 100% sure. And I'm probably completely wrong on that because I don't know how all that works or anything, but that's what I'm thinking. Oh, we just hit 80 degrees, so it did something. So I guess you could expect a two degree drop from the uh, scoop and then another two degree drop with the intake tube. Hold up. And that's, that's what I'm gonna go with because that's what we seem to be getting since we're at 80 degrees right now. So not too bad. I mean, it's fluctuating. So, all right, that'll wrap up this video. Hope you guys appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, we'll be back at you soon with another video. Say goodbye, Mia. Bye. All right, so I'm sitting here editing this video and putting it all together. And as I'm watching it, as I do it, I have an epiphany. I'm, I think I know why the air temperatures don't drop that much. Um, basically, a uh, motor is a giant air pump as the pistons are going up and down. It's sucking motor, uh, sucking air in and pushing air out. So when you are on the throttle, your um, throttle body opens the, the butterfly valve and that's obviously going to allow for more airflow. The more airflow, once that valve is open, i.e. your throttle body, the cooler the temperature is going to be because it's going to be rushing in. So what I was doing is I was driving around town and you're not into the throttle very uh, very much. And it's a, a lot of off-throttle, on-throttle, a little bit of on-throttle, off-throttle, coast, you know. So it's not allowing the air to like rapidly flow into the engine. So that's why I wasn't seeing, I'm pretty sure that's why I wasn't seeing as big of a drop as what I was thinking was going to happen. So, um, but then again, I'm not an engineer. I'm just me, so... Um, but I'm pretty sure that's what the deal is. So I think I might do a follow-up on highway poles and see what we get then. Because then it'll be interesting to see if that's where the benefit really comes in. Because I think that's where it's going to be. So around town, it's not really going to do anything. But once I get on the highway, or if you're out on a racetrack racing, obviously, you're going to see that as well. And that's where the cold air intakes are going to come into um, play um, more than they would the average person just commuting back and forth to work on city streets. So... All right. Again, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.